Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss what is machine cycle. In this tutorial, you will learn what is machine cycle and the difference between instruction cycle and the machine cycle. Further, how CPU executes the program instructions and the various steps involved for one machine cycle. Let us start with the CPU. The CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. The CPU is the brain of the computer system, which provides the processing power to the computer system. The CPU controls all the operations performed by the computer system, including the activities necessary to execution the program. The machine cycle is the main activity performed by the Central Processing Unit to execute the program instruction. The machine cycle is also alternately referred to as instruction cycle. However, the machine cycle is a part of instruction cycle, whereas the instruction cycle is the process initiated by the CPU to execute one program instruction. Let us now discuss both machine cycle and the instruction cycle in detail. Let us first start with understanding the instruction cycle. The computer program consists of number of program statements. These statements are also referred as the program instruction. During the program execution, the operating system loads the program into the main system memory, RAM. The CPU initiates the program execution by fetching these instructions one by one from the main memory RAM. The machine cycle is part of instruction cycle. And therefore, let us first understand what is instruction cycle. In simple terms, the instruction cycle is the time taken by the CPU to execute one program instruction. The CPU is driven by a stream of clock pulses generated by the system clock. This stream of clock cycles helps the CPU to synchronize all the activities. For each clock tick, the CPU executes a part of the machine cycle. The instruction cycle is the sequence of steps executed by the computer CPU to execute one single instruction. The instruction cycle consists of sequence of following steps. First, read the instruction from the memory. Second, decode the instruction. Third, find the address of the operand. Fourth, retrieve the operand from the memory. Fifth, perform the desired operation on the operand. Sixth, find the address of the destination memory. And finally, store the result into the destination memory. Let us now understand what is machine cycle. In order to execute a program instruction, the CPU repetitively performs a sequence of four steps. This sequence of four steps is called a machine cycle. The machine cycle is executed in four steps. These four steps include the PU operations, such as fetch, decode, execute and finally, store. The machine cycle is a part of the instruction cycle. In order to complete one single instruction cycle, the CPU might need either one or more machine cycles, which depends upon the complexity of the program instruction. Similarly, each part of the machine cycle needs number of clock ticks to complete some part of the machine cycle, such as fetch, decode, execute, or the store operation. Let us now dive a bit deeper into the machine cycle to understand the various steps in the machine cycle. The fetch part of the machine cycle includes fetching the program instruction from memory. The CPU initiates the program execution by fetching the program instruction and the corresponding data from the main system memory, RAM. The decode part of the machine cycle includes decoding the program instruction. The control unit inside the CPU decodes the program instruction as per the PU's own architecture. Each processor chip implements a set of binary commands which defines the various operations performed by the CPU. This set of binary command is called as Instruction Set Architecture ISA, of the CPU. The control unit 
inside the CPU chip, generates the necessary signals for the arithmetic logic unit to perform the desired operation on the operon. The execute part of the machine cycle includes the actual execution of the program instruction by the CPU. The arithmetic logic unit of the CPU then performs the desired operation on the operon. Each program instruction consists of two parts. First part is OP code and the second part is the address of the operon. The OP code directs the arithmetic logic unit or LU to operate on the data as per the instruction set architecture of the CPU. The instruction set architecture for a processor chip is a set of binary commands supported by the CPU. The final stage of the machine cycle includes storing the processed data back into the memory. Once the LU operates on the data, the processed data is then sent and stored into the main memory, RAM. This stored data in RAM can either be sent to any output device, such as monitor, or the printer, or to any permanent storage device to be stored for future use. Let us now quickly summarize the machine cycle. The machine cycle is the basic operation of the CPU. The CPU continuously executes the machine cycle while performing the various operations. The machine cycle consists of sequence of four steps, which include the CPU operations such as fetch, decode, execute, and finally store. Please read the detailed article on our website learncomputerscienceonline.com for more details. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we have discussed what is machine cycle. We also discussed the difference between the machine cycle and the instruction cycle and how CPU executes the program instructions. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon with another computer science video.